Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here is Abdul and today we have another unboxing, this time from Timex, as you can see from the box. So uh, on this channel, I try to do a lot of unboxing, a lot of review videos, a lot of comparison, um, sometimes some sponsored material. And uh, my aim is to uh, help other watch collectors with their buying decision. So I try to do an unboxing for each watch and then a full review. And for some cases, um, I will do a small uh, 60 seconds review after the unboxing, maybe after a week of wearing or something, just to give you an impression of how the watch will wear. If you are interested in this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to comment on the video for the watches that you want me to review next. So this is the Timex Waterberry Diver. Um, I already reviewed a Waterberry uh, before, a Timex Waterberry which was an automatic watch this time it's a diver um, but a quartz for that uh, matter and the reference number for the watch is TW2V49800 I leave uh, the whole uh, description in the description part below let me put this here and you can see the ticking start yeah so you have here a um, this diver bezel inside where you can move it from this crown and it locks as well you have a screw down crown here as well so basically you have 100 meters of water resistance you have a quartz movement you have a mineral glass uh, on top and steel on the bottom and the watch is 41 millimeters in diameter and 48 lug to lug with a thickness of 10 millimeters, so quite a good thickness. Has also abundant of loom on the indices and on the hands. As you can see, we have a cutout hands with tips of loom. You have also the green um, seconds hand with a loom pip and the waterberry mark on the end uh, of the seconds hand. Yeah, now it's good. You can see here that this one has a different marking than this one. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, yeah, what else could I say about this watch? Uh, it's 65 grams uh, on the supplied leather strap, which is not a bad strap. It has a good padding, Timex branded, genuine leather. So, you know, it's not the best quality of leather. Um, yeah, the price is 149 euros on Amazon. I would shop around to find more uh, offers. I really like Timex and what they offer. And I think the Waterberry collection from Timex is a really interesting one, especially if you're looking for this style of uh, um, rotating bezel or inside rotating bezel, internal rotating bezel type of divers. There are several of them in the higher segment. Let's say from GLC, you have one from Longines, you have one. Um, and I think that's a good offering from Timex to offer something in that price range with that functionality or complication. I will cover most of the, the stuff in the uh, review video. And as you can see, we have a horizontal brush on the sides of the case, a polished bezel, vertical brush on the lugs, and we have a polished crown for the time setting and a green, uh, I think, PVD coating for the crown for setting the uh, crown which is quite nice because it matches the second's hand. Yeah, that's, as you can see, it, it's very hard to close the, the, the bezel without moving the bezel. So that, that's definitely something uh, to look out for. Uh, if you're using this watch for some kind of professional diving, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but if you like the shape, if you like the look, I definitely think it's a good offering from Timex. 
shop around you might find uh, a cheaper option online maybe a used one uh, that would be i think the best option to go for anyways thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions about this watch or any other watch please leave them in the comment section and as always this is an invitation to like subscribe and you find the subscribe button here on in the middle and you would find on the left and on the right two videos that might interest you as well see you in the next one bye bye everybody